Hey, hey guys, welcome friends of G&K. Standing here in a typical Northeast Indiana soybean field. Getting lots of calls about beans these days. Greg, what are we seeing? Yellow beans. <laughs> that do, is what we're seeing. Why do we have yellow beans? It's been so dry, what's going on? People want to know why do my beans look bad? What can I do to fix them? Can I spray something on them? First of all, we're standing in a yellow bean patch. This is pretty typical of what's going on. First of all, think back to June. So we had three weeks where beans went nowhere. So they sat right there at unifoliate, second, third trifoliate, went nowhere. We didn't advance in our vegetative growth. What happens when that occurs? Well, the bean doesn't grow. The bean doesn't nodulate. And a lot of these pockets have unnodulated soybeans and the green beans are nodulated. So we dug some up here. In the yellow pockets, what we're seeing are beans with no nodules on them. This one has one here and a couple there. Rob's got a good plant and we have nodules all on these root hairs, the main tap root off the side. We're dealing with a lot of root nodulation. We got pretty substantial rain amounts, two to three inches over the course of 10 days or two weeks. And so this struggling bean basically sat there and suffocated because it doesn't have its nodulation source to feed that plant. That's, that's actually a, a little bit of an end deficiency too. You see that pale green, it's, it's an end deficiency like you'd see in your corn. So the nodules fixate nitrogen to help alleviate that end deficiency. Generally where the yellow pockets are, are poorer drain farms, wetter areas, in between tile lines, et cetera, et cetera. Where we're green, the beans were farther along. They were already able to nodulate before it got stressful or just better farms in general. That's usually what happens. What are we seeing disease-wise sure. and plant condition-wise? We've been seeing some of the heaviest accumulation of root diseases that I've seen in my career. So mainly two, Rhizoctonia and Phytophthora are the two main ones we've been seeing. Uh, again, those are gonna show up in your wet spots in the field. They're, that's a disease that's a soil-borne pathogen. Typically, our seed treatments take, take care of us uh, for those diseases, but we're beyond that systemic control at this point. So it's popping up. They like that warm, moist soils, and they're really seeing some issues with that in places. So the two things we've been noticing on beans leaf condition wise are bacterial pustule or I sometimes call it bacterial blight or septoria brown spot brown spot which is exactly what this plant this plant actually has both that's what the symptomology resembles now those are soil borne diseases they lay here when the conditions are right when it's wet at the wrong time and hu humid at the wrong time, they start to show up. Let me tell you, fungicide will not cure this, okay? Spraying a foliar will not cure this. What does this plant need to cure itself, Rob? It needs a little bit of oxygen. It needs oxygen. Guess what it needs? It needs a little bit of oxygen. It needs a period of dry weather. All right. We actually need no rain. There's no foliar application that will fix this. Best thing in your favor, the best thing in your favor is oxygen and time. Needs a little bit of oxygen. And so we have to give it a little more time to recover. And that's painful to do yeah. because we want to fix it, but we got to give it some more time. The same is true for the foliar diseases we talked about and those root diseases. There's really not much you can do about it at this point. You may actually lose a couple pockets of those root diseased areas, um, but there's, there's nothing we can do about it at this point. It's, it's typically not that large of an area. The other thing we're witnessing is our residual herbicides are actually starting to weigh on beans a little bit. We went through basically a month of dry weather where our residuals just laid there and they're right in that root zone. So when we finally got rain, we're solubilizing chemistry and it's forcing the bean plant to metabolize chemistry. So we do have some residuals that are holding plants back. So again, we got to give that bean plant time to kind of get through that and weather the risk on that some, and it just takes time. It takes time. It needs a little bit of oxygen. And oxygen for them to turn the corner. Now, unfortunately, these pockets of stressed beans, we're gonna run, out, we're running out of time on those. We're just gonna physically run out of calendar, but we just gotta give them time to recover. Sometimes nature takes care of itself. Okay, we're in one of those spots now where water was sitting, and what we were talking about earlier by having not enough oxygen we're referring to not having enough oxygen in the soil. And here we are, there's Phytophthora showing up in it. So Phytophthora is a root rot. So the root itself will rot. Notice there's no nodules on these plants. It's rotting away. It's basically dying. But you can see this isn't the, a super large area. You know, we have certainly less than a quarter of an acre here. 
it's the wettest spot in the field. Uh, that plant will have a little bit of a brown spot that at the most will go up about a couple inches above the soil line, um, but you can see they're starting to die off here. And the growing point on these beans, which is up top, is completely brown. So I expect that bean to, if he doesn't die, he's certainly not gonna be growing anymore. He'll die, he'll die. And this, this is showing up in some places. And again, Phytophthora is a soil-borne disease. It will lay in your soil. Matter of fact, it can persist for a long time. Sometimes crop rotation does not get rid of it. So you need to keep notes and understand what's occurring in your field if you see Phytophthora, because that's something you want to plant a bean that's more tolerant to that and can, can resist that a little bit different because this will not go away for quite a while. Now crop rotation will help, but it's not 100% cure. Genetic protection is the best way. It's certainly a seed treatment, but we were just beyond that window where the seed treatment, treatment was working anymore. And then we had the warm, moist soils. That's what it prefers, so perfect storm. All right, guys, so as difficult as it is to think about doing, we really don't have an action item for you to take care of this issue with. Uh, we need to let Mother Nature take its course a little bit, let these beans get nodulating, start pushing themselves back through, and hopefully these areas that are either non-existent for you or are very small in size. Yeah, we're hoping that we just bring some education to you and help you understand what's going on in your fields. That's what our goal is with these videos. If you find value in the feedback, uh, leave us a comment, hit the like button, follow our channel. We're always here to help. You can take it away, say so we're in an area of phytophthora. Perfect. What about red fog? Phytophthora. <laughs>